everybody, this is Ogini Supreme here with another tutorial on how to program in Turing. So today, I'm going to show you some simple little movements or animations or stuff like that. So, well here we have the Canadian flag with a maple leaf in the middle. So I'm going to make this maple leaf move a little bit. So I'm going to make a for loop say, I don't know, 25. So, now we're going to increase the y, I'm going to move it up, so we're going to increase the y value by 1 each time, so we're going to go y plus equals 1, instead of colon equals, which is like that. This means that y now equals 1, but this means it's adding 1 to the value of y, so we also have to do that to our y2 value. So now if I do that, you have that. Why? Well, because Turing is quite fast and it's running everything at once. So it drew this leaf 25 times. Well, let's say I want a delay, so I just type delay and I'm going to make, well, let's make it 50 milliseconds so delay and the number of milliseconds in brackets and if you notice the same leaf that was previously drawn stays in position but we don't want that we want it to move we don't want it to like drag so something we could do and it's the same trick I use for my drawing star. I put a delay here. Then I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to make the color zero. As I talked about before, zero means white. And there we go. It, it erased at the end because the last leaf was white. And if I do it like this, that happens. So if you were thinking about that solution, may I remind you that it doesn't really work. So at the end you could just draw the leaf like that. I can make it quicker like that. I can make it even quicker well, that's too quick. So now we can do the same thing. Let's say. But this time, I'm going to make it go up. No, no, sorry, not up, down. I'm going to make it go down, so I'm just going to replace these plus signs with minus signs. There it goes. It goes up, and then it goes right back down. Now I'll make the delay longer. Just a bit, so you can see. That's how it looks. So now we can make the red, the red part of the, the red part of the flag, the red sides. We, we can make those grow. So if we make a for loop, let's say 150 this time, and then draw fill box. Oh, I forgot to set my x and y. So. I'm just gonna copy this. And for y, I'm just gonna make it equal what it equal before, which should be, yeah. Which is that. And then a little delay. Then we can draw, but this time we're gonna make it. The color 12 because 12 is red and then uh, x will add one and then the x2 we're gonna make that that value shrink each time so let's see what we have at the end okay so you saw that it shrunk, 
gradually then it grew back again and then just stopped completely why <laughs> well because like i said before x and y like these first two values don't have to be the bottom left corner so when x grew above the middle so that was 250 it became on the right side and x2 became on the left side that's where you need to figure out some math so if i put 125 because in between here is 250 250 divided by 2 is 125 because i'm having both sides changing let's see if that works so that seems to be everything you need to know about movements because all movements are is just you moving or you're changing the values of the x and the y so really you're just changing the values and erasing your old drawing and then adding a new one this trick can be used when making video games so if you're having like if you're moving pong and you have a near have a move up program you do something like this whatever you want so thanks for watching this video if you like you can subscribe to my channel this is ogany supreme logging off